Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the latest beta from Apple, iOS 15.6. This is a really interesting update and with the release of iOS 15.5 to the public, we all thought Apple was done with iOS 15. They have already added all the features they talked about at WWDC 2021. Everything is here, all the new features and everything, and there's nothing they can add more to iOS 15. That's why we thought iOS 15.5 would be the last big update to iOS 15. And then of course we can just expect minor updates for security and privacy improvements and all that stuff. But they released beta one of iOS 15.6, which in my opinion is a really bad update especially beta one of course as of now it is really really bad so let me show you guys what i'm talking about all right let's just start it with some good things talking about performance and battery of ios 15.6 now i have this beta for almost a week now performance has been quite stable basically the same as ios 15.5 even if we take a look here at the geekbench test you will see that it's basically the same as iOS 15.5. Going to the history right here, CPU, you can see what we have here, 15.5 single core score, 1585. We have 1588 here, a really slight improvement there. And then we have a multi-core score, 4092 while we have here 4087 so it's basically the exact same as iOS 15.5 which is not bad at all and also talking about battery you will basically get the the same battery life as you get on iOS 15.5 even though this is a beta it's a beta one battery life is actually still good and it's just exactly the same in my experience as iOS 15.5 so don't expect to see any major changes there on performance and battery life as well but things are just getting worse with this update there are some problems that i'm facing that i didn't face on previous betas now just keep in mind that since iOS 15 has been released on its first beta, I had it installed on this device. So every time I have a beta installed here, every time there is a beta, I use it and I didn't face these problems that I'm facing right now with any other betas. And these are some problems that I'm seeing reported by other users as well. So that's really interesting. First of all, head on to the settings and just notice this. If you have iOS 15.6 beta one installed on your device, I want you to check this. Go to settings here, general iPhone storage, and this usually took a lot of time. It looks like it has been fixed right now. Sometimes it's really good. It slows really fast, sometimes slower. But make sure you scroll all the way down here and see this right here. System data. Just take a look at this and see how much it's taking up of space on your device. Now, right here, I have 19.7 gigs. Usually I have this at around 9 to 10 to 11. That's the max that I've seen here on my device. Of course, from time to time, when you just update your device, like frequently, it tends to go a bit higher, but it just comes back to like 10, 11 at maximum at 12. But right now it's sitting at 19.7. It was even over 20 at some point here on my device. But what's really, really bad is that I've seen reports from other users that this is just crazy. I've seen reports that users are having more than 70 gigs here on system data. And that's just crazy. All that data, all that storage taking up on your device for just a beta that actually doesn't offer anything new besides, of course, the improvements and fixes, which most of them we don't know what they're about, but it's taking a lot of space here. And that's really, really crazy. Another thing that I've noticed is signal drops. This is a problem that I've seen also on Reddit, on iOS beta subreddit, users are reporting this, especially when you wanna make a phone call, it will just drop the signal from your device and that's really bad. Of course, it will stop you from making that call and that's really, really bad. Of course, if you're facing this problem, it will be like really annoying. Anytime you try to make a call or something, you will have your signal dropping and that's really annoying. And now another thing that this has actually been reported by Mark Grumman on Twitter, I didn't have this problem. It looks like it's a problem with T-Mobile users or maybe it, they say that it's a problem with iMessage and iCloud, 
but it looks like it's for T-Mobile users right now. So it's basically quite a bad bug because if you try like to use iMessage or FaceTime, sometimes it will deactivate it just randomly. And the only way to reactivate it is actually to just take a new SIM card. So you will have to physically buy a new SIM card if you want to reactivate iMessage and FaceTime on your device. Now, this is a problem that has been here. It's not a problem of the new iOS. 15.6 but the problem here is that apple knows about this and they haven't fixed it with ios 15.6 so this is a problem i believe from ios 15.4 but it will happen to you even if you have this update on your device so the update that it's coming really late and it's supposed to just like fix problems make improvements and all that is actually not fixing this very serious problem for a lot of iphone users and one thing that's really annoying to me, I've seen reports about this before, random shutdowns on devices. I've never experienced that on any of my devices, even though I always use beta softwares. But with iOS 15.6, I've experienced like, it's been like four or five days since, since I have installed this update. And I've experienced like three random shutdowns. Just like you're doing something, the device will just shut down completely and it will have to reboot. So that's really annoying. Just imagine being maybe on an important call, a FaceTime call or something like that. The device just shuts down unexpectedly without you like doing any heavy tasks or nothing. I was just on Instagram yesterday and it just shut down completely. And of course, I had to wait for the device to reboot. That's another problem that is happening to me that I've never experienced on any other beta softwares. So these are some really, really serious problems that I suggest Apple should take care of. And if they release an update like iOS 15.6, which actually doesn't offer new features, but is just focused on improving iOS and fixing all the problems, make sure they actually take care of these quite big problems that users are facing. Another problem here with the health app. Now this has been a bug for a lot of time now, still not fixed. You can search anything you want here on the health app. It won't show any results at all. This is really, really bad actually. And it has actually never been fixed on iOS 15. I believe this is like for months now since iOS 15.3 it has been here. I've noticed it on iOS 15.3 and it hasn't been fixed yet. So just to give you a conclusion on iOS 15.6, if you have already installed it, of course, you will have to bear with it and wait for into the next beta. Hopefully it will improve things. Of course, if you're facing these problems or other problems for users that like to try new betas, just don't install it. Please don't install it. It doesn't have anything new. It will just bring bad things to your device. So don't install this update at all. Just skip it and you're good to go. Apple should actually release a new update really soon, iOS 15.5.1. So we talked about the problem with T-Mobile users where iMessage and FaceTime will just randomly deactivate. Apple knows about that problem and I, will, I believe Apple should release an update really, really soon. Maybe this week or next week, just on this month, I believe we will get the update before Apple moves on to the first beta of iOS 16. So expect Apple to actually release iOS 15.5.1, which should be a really important update if it fixes this problem, of course, other problems as well. So I would expect Apple to release it as soon as this week, maybe later this week, maybe on Thursday or the beginning of next week, we should get iOS 15.5.1 getting released to the public. As far as iOS 15.6 beta goes, if you have it installed on your device, you will have to actually wait for the next beta. Hopefully it will be much, much better. So there's nothing you can do about it. Just wait. So you can expect a new beta to come probably next week at maybe May 30th or 31st will be the date that Apple released the second beta of iOS 15.6 because of course it will move to the two week schedule at first and then move to the one week schedule after that. As far as the public release goes for iOS 15.6, I would expect this update to be released at somewhere around the end of the June. 
that's the timeline that i put on this update it will probably go through four to five betas of course an rc version and then it will be released to the public so i would expect this right here on the last week of june maybe on the 28th or 29th should be the dates where you will get ios 15.6 getting released to the public again nothing exciting about this update just some under the hood improvements and bug fixes so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching stay away from ios 15.6 it's really bad at least in my experience it's been a really really bad update so make sure you don't update your device that's it for the video thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next video